Welcome to Mandated's video on how to fill and sign documents electronically with Adobe Acrobat Reader. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is to make sure whether you have Adobe Acrobat Reader on your laptop or not. You can do that by just searching for Acrobat in your search bar and you'll see this is what the application looks like. If you don't have Adobe Acrobat Reader installed on your laptop already, you're going to have to go and download it first. I will include a link to this website on the video. Um, you'll see at the bottom there's two options. There's a normal Acrobat Reader free version and also the pro version which you would need to pay for. You can just use the normal free Acrobat Reader for now. Please also take note that there's additional offers available as well, which includes antivirus programs, which I don't think is necessary for now. You can literally just click on download Acrobat Reader from here. Once you've downloaded and installed Adobe Acrobat Reader, you can use any PDF document, right click on it, say open with Adobe Acrobat Reader. You'll be able to also view PDF documents in this format, but the purposes of this video is to show you how to go ahead and fill and sign documents this way. Once you've clicked on the fill and sign button, it will just ask you once again what you'd like to do, and you will click on fill and sign. Once you've clicked on the fill and sign button, you'll see at the top there's additional options that becomes available. I'm just going to run through them quickly. The first one, if you click on it, it is just a little text option. You can make the text smaller and larger with the two A's and also delete it. There's also a cross same thing, you can make it smaller and larger and also delete, a little tick, a circle. What's nice about the circle is you can also put your cursor on the right hand bottom corner and drag it to make it larger or smaller. And there's also a line available, you can drag it to make it longer, delete as well as a little dot. You can make the dots bigger or smaller, whatever you prefer. I think some of you might be most interested in finding out how to actually sign these documents electronically. So you'll see Adobe has a sign option that allows you to add a signature and your initials on the system. Um, once you click on the little plus, you'll see there's three different ways to do that. The first is just to type your actual name and surname here. Um, you can just use it just like that. Click on apply and you'll see what your signature looks like. And what's nice about it is you can actually paste it anywhere where your signature is required. The alternative option is to actually go ahead and draw your signature or you can upload an image. So I think an image is the most authentic way of doing it. You, what I've gone and done is literally signed on a white piece of paper, taken a photo of it and sent it to my laptop. So um, I just want to show you this is what the actual image looks like and Adobe automatically transfers it, removes the background and keeps your signature very authentic. Um, with the signatures as well, if you put your cursor on the corner, you'll see that you can make it larger and smaller all the time to be suitable to that particular document's um, block or line that needs to be signed on. You can do the same with your initials type, draw or upload an image. I'm just going to go ahead and upload my initial image which you'll use to initial documents as well. Once again you can make that larger and smaller 
And of course, if you've done it somewhere on the, on the wrong spot or you don't want it there anymore, you can just go ahead and delete it as well. Another benefit of using Adobe Acrobat Reader is that it has a great memory, which allows the signature and initial which you've already set up to be saved under the sign option, allowing future documentation to be filled in and signed conveniently. The last option we'd like to share with you is the change of font color option. You can change the font color to whatever you like. However, we prefer our application to lease and our offer to purchase and all our other documents to be filled in in black. You will see that all mandated documentation has been designed in the way for Adobe to recognize all the fillable fields with a blue block. Once you put your cursor over the block and it turns blue, you'll be able to click and fill it in very easily. Not only does Adobe help our documentation look professional, but it also preserves quality and saves on paper. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you found this very helpful. And should you have any queries in the future, you're welcome to contact us via hello at mandated.co.za.